There's too many. There's too many. There's too many verbs. Hello again, everybody. This is Rob Bobberty, and welcome to All Demons Must Go to Hell, a game by, uh, what's it called? The Adventure Think Tank. That is uh, Space Quest Historian and uh, Torpedo Bear. This is supposed to be an actively hostile adventure game. I'm a little concerned, but we'll see. Bing bong! Good morning, Wilhelm. So glad you could join us today. Okay. Was? We have a very special day planned for you, so no time to waste. Let's get cracking. Release the Kraken? Is that code for something? <laughs> no time for witty banter, Wilhelm. Come now, we are most curious to see how you progress. Okay. How do progress? I... What are you talking about? Who are you? Present here yourself. <laughs> God, I love Germans. Uh, me, I'm Ewan, and I will be guiding you via the speaker system throughout the day. So the speaker system? Strange. Yesterday the speaker system was operated by a female by the name of Frau Eileen Parker. I was told she was the only one operating the speakers, and if she should fall sick, she would be substituted by her colleague Laura Cotsworth, who is also a female, if I'm not mistaken. I feel like there's a joke now I'm not being awoken in my office by some informal hooligan who presents himself as Ewan and does not even provide a last name. This is most unregulatory. This is so funny. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing? Are you sure? Yes. It doesn't seem like nothing. Seems more like you find something terribly comish. <laughs> Stop that right now! <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just that you're being so very, very German right now. Really? You're giggling okay. like I'm Kleine Schoolmädchen because I am German. <laughs> Oh, come now, this is Kindlish! <laughs> okay. Enough of this Bishamina Dummheit! This is not the kind of maturity I was expecting from an organization such as this! When I joined the Viridian Mantle Group, I was promised a workspace that saw effectivity and discipline as paradigms unto themselves. And now, after just one day, I'm being treated with disrespect from some infantile prankster who dares speak to me in such an insolent tone of voice! I will not put up with this unworthy Arbeitsprozess. I will be taking the street to the CEO. You, you will? Oh, that's great. That's, oh, that's exactly what your mission today was going to be anyway. Was? The task today is to find your way to the CEO's okay. office. But it's, it's uh, right down the hallway. Yeah, not anymore. <laughs> But what do you mean? Well, once you leave your cell, and I mean your office, you'll find there's been a bit of restructuring to Viridian Mantle's HQ while you were sleeping. Finding the CEO's office might prove just a tad bit more difficult than you think. Just pretend this is a test of your, your efficacy and discipline. Oh, okay. So I am being tested. <laughs> you wish to be confirmed that I am as good as I say I am. I see. And before, with the insolence. Uh, was, was that a test too? Uh, yeah, <laughs> sure. Ah, you must be from the Human Resources Department. <laughs> Very well done. I commend you for your dedication to the test. I truly believed you were an infantile plagegeist. Me? A plagegeist? Oh, no, no. Is that a word? Right, no more time for the dilly-dallying. I will find the CEO's office as soon as humanly possible. Have fun. Okay. Ah, okay, so this is point and click. And actually, I want to read. Where'd it go? Uh, I want to read some of the description because it's kind of funny. Um, tr uh, first of all, trigger warnings for suicide, Satanism, and German stereotyping, as we've already seen. Uh, tr tr all demons must go to hell. You play as Wilhelm. I'm not even going to try his last name. A German scientist who wakes up in the office of his new workplace to find out that things have gotten... A German word? Very strange. Wilhelm must now traverse the unfamiliar hallways and find out what in the hell is going on. Uh, if you think you're a hotshot adventurer, you can survive. see if you can survive the most actively hostile adventure game ever creative, created. And a little side note as far as we know or something like that. Um, just It's got a longer description. I'm not going to read the whole thing. But based on it, it seems like it takes all the uh, bad things that have happened in adventure games over the years and uses them a lot. Dead ends, moon logic, 
uh, mood logic is um, um, I can't think of a simple example, but let's just say when the logic doesn't make sense in an adventure game. Oh, you combine this item with this item, and you would never do that in real life. There's no reason to. Oh, okay. So it's point and click, and it's bad. And why do I have a cotton mouth? Can I click? How do I? How do I? Uh... Oh, there we go. Walk to desk. Okay. How do I? I don't have any instructions. Oh, oh! -ho! Um, inspect the desk. Um, strains my eyes for no good reason. Search the desk. It covers nothing. Smell the desk. Factory sense indicates nothing particularly exciting. Uh, push for open. Open the desk. It doesn't open. Okay. Uh, we have look, inspect. Oh my god, that's all. Okay, it's a highly functional desk. Is there another desk? Okay, this desk is the only one I can interact with, which makes. Oh! Look at toilet paper. It is a sheet of toilet paper. What it is doing under Willem's cup cut is a question best left unanswered. Yes, yes it is. Uh, can I take it? Pick up! There we go. Hey, I got toilet paper! With a small twinge of trepidation, Wilhelm requires a sheet of toilet paper. Okay, oh my god, this is the inventory system. <laughs> okay, I might play this all the way through, but probably not in one video. I'm probably gonna make this one less than a half hour. We have a quip. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna lick the table. Wilhelm failed to see how this actually would benefit him or his taste buds. I'm gonna push the table. Does that move? Ooh. Uh, smell, touch, un unlock? Is it locked? Can I unlock this? Okay, I don't think there's anything to do with it. I don't see, uh... Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna fondle the table. Wilhelm is not romantic romantically interested in that. Oh, fondle poster. Oh, it's it, it stays... Wait, where did it look go? Oh, it looks in the middle. It appears to be an inspirational poster. Wilhelm finds these most up uplifting. But does it not? Wait. Uh, Alright, let's look at the shout at door. Yelling at it will not help. Did I hit? Oh, I hit shout. Uh, is it even shout? The door leads out. Okay. Open the door. Wilhelm grabs the door handle and is astonished the discovery he cannot open the door. Um, hello. Excuse me. Uh, the door is locked. How am I supposed to exit this room? Oh, come now. Uh, a spry and resourceful initiative such as yourself didn't get this far into the process to be stopped by a, a simple locked door. Figure out a way. I'm sure you can do it. Chop chop now. Right, of course. The test. Wouldn't be much of a test of my considerable skill if it was easy. Sense. What if I unlock the door? It, can, it cannot unlock this. Okay, none of this is anything. I still have the desk. Search? Oh wait, is there a search? Search the desk. Did I do search the desk? Oh, I did. There. Oh, oh. Search the pillow. Well, it pokes the pillow. Feels something underneath it. Perhaps turning it over. Okay, uh, move, push. Can I just pick it up? No wish to carry his pillow around. Uh, push it! Folks, how do I turn it over? Pull, press, read, search, swallow, lick, pick up, insert, inspect, I don't get. Oh. oh, flip! There it is right there. I missed it. <laughs> flips the pillow on its side and discovers that a knitting needle is hiding under the pillow. He takes the knitting needle into custody. Okay, am I going to pick a lock with the knitting needle? Okay, how do I equip? There we go. Lock the door with the needle. Okay, oh, unlock with the needle. With the needle. I don't find myself unable to perform such a ludicrous action. Um, unlock the desk. Wait. Oh, wait. Uh, unlock. Unable to perform such a ludicrous action. Uh, what do I need? Okay. Let's go back to look. No. Oh. Examine. This is a formidable thin poking apparatus. Okay. 
Alright, I need to unequip. Oh yeah, look at the poster. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, can I take it? Can I, can I take it? <laughs> this is so ridiculous. <laughs> no, they would have been. They should have had pick up and take both there because it'd be kind of funny. Let's flip it over. Maybe there's something in the back. Uh, open it. Is there? It doesn't open. Okay. I feel like I'm gonna be stuck in this room for a while because I don't know what else to look at here. Uh, did I inspect? Closer inspection of the poster reveals that it is fastened to the wall. There's also some writing on it, which presumably can be read. Read. Didn't I already read it? Wilhelm reads the poster. It says, Ambition. The inescapable dread of needing to own or an object failure. This was not the emotional pick-me-up Wilhelm was expecting. Oh, I got a point, I think. Okay. Um. Alright. Wilhelm is holding... Oh, I got... I have to equip it, then I can examine it. The single sheet of double ply greatness fills Wilhelm with all. Okay, what, what do I combine? Wait, how do I... Oh, I have to equip one, switch to the other, and combine? Wilhelm should not perforate his solitary sheet of toilet paper. I didn't expect that to work, however... There's, there's gonna be moon logic. Did I finish saying moon logic? Yeah, like things that just don't make sense. I don't... Let's see. Uh, use inspect. There's no use at all. There's no use. Poke. Oh, poke! Let's see. Unequip. Equip. Let's poke some things. We'll find the cylinder of the action. These two things do not go together. Is there? That's the desk. Poke the door. Ach nein! The key fell onto the floor uh, on the other side! Now I have no way to retrieve it! Oh, now see, that's most unfortunate. I, I had such high hopes for you. Frankly, we all did, but I'm afraid you've just boned yourself. Oh well. As a concession, I will allow you to end it all quickly, or you can just choose to spend the rest of eternity in here. Your choice. Remember. Oh god! <laughs> Remember, folks, save early, save often. <laughs> no, really, it's pointless. There's no way out now. You screwed yourself. You may as well just pack it in. <laughs> um. Can I just pull it? Honestly, you're just wasting time now. <laughs> um. Oh, hang. I guess this is it. <laughs> Gave up awful quick there, I know. Okay, I had to start over because I forgot about saving or bookmarking or however this is set up. I think they're... Under options, you have one bookmark token. To set a bookmark, click set. Setting your bookmark uses one token. So I gotta find book... Oh, God. <laughs> I gotta use bookmark tokens to save. I don't know how and when I get more bookmark tokens, but... I gotta redo everything and then save it at some point here. Okay, I'm back and I'm ready to save. I was gonna try to open the door and then save, but then I realized the whole put a put paper under the door, knock the key out is not gonna work with toilet paper. So I think that's not gonna work. So I'm gonna use my single bookmark token. Are you sure you wish you just you set? You, are you sure you wish you set your bookmark? It will cost you one token. You currently have one token. I wouldn't use it this early. The bookmark has been set. You know, zero bookmark tokens. But the problem is, like, I have to go through, if I lose any time towards the beginning, I have to go through the intro and all that. It's just a lot of clicking. It goes fast enough, but it's a lot of clicking. So I'm going to use, I'm going to push the paper under. Oh, it even, like, changes to under door. I have an idea. Wilhelm pulled. It's too easy. It's saying it's. He already thinks it's gonna work. It's not gonna work. Oh! I missed what it said. Oh, no, I got. Oh, I can take it back though, I think. Uh, was it poke? Yeah, it was poke, I think. Poke. Needing needle into the door. Wilhelm pushes the sewing needle into the keyhole and is elated to hear the key tumble out of the lock and onto the sheet of toilet paper. Okay, it did work. I thought for sure that was not gonna work. Pull. Not pick up. Because if I pick up, I'm probably just going to lose the key. Well, I'm excitedly retrieves the toilet paper with the key on it and pockets the key. Having no further use for the tissue, he discards it in an efficient manner. 
Pretty good. What, what does he do with it? Okay. Uh, let's examine the key. The key to Wilhelm's salvation or damnation. Perhaps both. Perhaps neither. Probably both. Okay. Let's use the key. Wait. Unlock the door with the key. Wilhelm unlocks the door with the key. Now all that's left to do is open it and see what's, what destiny has in store for him. Okay. Uh, open, open, open. Willem gingerly grabs the door handle and swings the door open. Ecstasy is too weak a word to describe his current feeling of elation and accomplishment. Wow, he really likes opening doors. Finally! Um, you have proven <laughs> yourself most ingenious initiative. I'm proud of you. Now, come along. Your destiny awaits. Hey, now, he didn't see me fail. Oh, congratulations on your progress. You got a bookmark token. You know, Ubuntu is. Okay. So, like, every time you get a puzzle or put a couple puzzles. So, that works. Because... So then that means I can, uh... How do I move? Walk? Wait. There's too many! There's too many! There's too many verbs! Ah, uh, wait, how do I... Open... Oh! Okay, I just click it. The Benjamin Chandler Memorial oh, Labyrinth. Oh, I see. You have replaced the hallway with a labyrinth. Yeah, that's a normal thing. We have, yes. And I am to find my way through this labyrinth to the CEO's office. Correct. And this is to test my effectivity and discipline. It is, yes. But surely the only thing a labyrinth <laughs> will test is my patience. <laughs> yeah. So you're testing my patience because it is a component of discipline? Sure. Okay, then. Sure. Okay. All right, walk to sign. Oh, wait, is it that sign or that sign? Oh, I really wish. I sign is stood here to welcome Wilhelm to the Benjamin Chandler Memorial Labyrinth. Oh, wait, uh, let's read the sign. It says, welcome to the Benjamin, Sh Benjamin Chandler Memorial Labyrinth. Let's pick up the sign. Wilhelm chooses to leave it in the name of efficiency. Uh, pull it? I figured there's something. Oh, no, push. Let's push. Uh, let's see. Can I push the sign over? Uh, let's see. Inspect it. The sign is standing on a thin rod connected to a metal plate that is securely fastened to the labyrinth floor with bolts. All right. So, wait. Uh, where do I? Wait, hang on. I want to look. Oh, okay. I can't look at the doors. Oh, there we go. Oh, exit, exit. Okay. So, I feel like this has a map on it. Did I read it? I read it. It sure looks like a... I did inspect. I did look. Hmm. Search? It sure looks like a map on there. Which I think is just toying with me. Okay, let's go to the right. Okay. There's nothing to interact with. Okay, at least the the move is will go no matter what you have going. Okay. Uh I'm gonna keep going to the right. I'm gonna go with the follow the right walls. Wilhelm can hear the scurrying of massive feet off in the distance. Scurrying and massive feet is kinda of disturbing. Uh look. It's, okay, is this the same one? Willem reads the poster. It says, Performance, the insistence of continuing to parade around your insignificance. Oh, I gotta read them all. Okay. I don't think I can... Can I rip it? I don't think so. That seems too violent an option in this case. Okay. I'm gonna keep going to the right and see where I end up. I have a feeling... Handle. I have a feeling that being... Is that the top of a door? Being people that are familiar with adventure games know those tricks <laughs> and are going to make that screw you. Like there's really no easy way to get around or something. Pick up a handle. Can I handle it? Wilhelm picks up the handle. Congratulations on your progress. You got a bookmark token. Okay. You know, two tokens. Okay. That's cool. Um, okay. I know I said before, save early and save often, but that doesn't work when you've got tokens, whatever they call it, bookmark tokens. Uh, where is there? Oh, I gotta equip it, examine it. Wilhelm found this handle just lying around in the labyrinth. He surmises it may have been part of a greater machine. That makes sense. Okay, 
I haven't really seen, except for which direction to go, I haven't seen too many decisions. So I think I'll go a little longer and hopefully not end up in any dead ends. Oh god! What the hell is that? Ah, I see you've met our labyrinth monster, Roaming Nuisance Gary. Quite a nasty character. You'd really do best to just run away. Okay, run away. How do I know when he's gone? Go! What are you doing? Oh, he's gonna keep doing that. Okay. Is he gonna show up on every one? In every room? Yep, I think so. I don't know where I need to go here. I... Yep. Uh, can I go back? Maybe? Okay, I can go back in here. Now he's still waiting up there is a the question. Okay, okay. So I can just... Now is he going to... Uh, let's see if he's going to be in the same spot, though. Something moved in the corner of Wilhelm's eye. Did I miss something? Guess I'm not going to save now. Okay, why, why did something move in the corner of my eye? What does that mean? Okay, this is where he was before. Oh no, he was up there. Okay, it might be random. Okay, I'm not gonna save. I'm just gonna kind of explore. And then, oh God, this is probably huge. Oh, I don't, I don't like where this is going. <laughs> it's kind of the point, but still, I don't like it. Um, huh, okay. I have two tokens. So I will save one. And if I... If this, if this save is useless, I can go back to the first one and I might have almost two because then I'll be able to pick up the thing. I don't know if it's... I don't know if the bookmark tokens are outside of the save, saves. Okay, I'm going to set it here and hope it's not a waste. Okay, uh, let's look. It is a plant bed, presumably used to grow plants. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's examine, inspect. Inspect seems like a good one here. Nothing growing in the bed at the moment, but it does appear to be seated. It's the same. Yeah. Um, okay, okay, there's more here because I don't see anything. Oh, there's a speaker. I go in here. Um. Uh, no. What do I have? I've got a needle, a handle, and that's it. Got to inspect. Look. Uh, what about ex exam? What do I have? Inspect. Look. I thought I did that already tonight. Okay. Inspect. I did right. Yeah. Nothing growing. Not a whole lot of interactables here. So maybe I need to find some seats. And I gotta remember I just saved there, so. Oh, I gotta go all the way back, because there's nothing there. I wonder, are these walls gonna change? Oh god, I hope not. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, maybe I'm safe in there. God, Gary, you're off. What's it, Gary? Gary's awful looking. Yeah, I made it through before I came in this time. Oh, maybe he doesn't go into that room. Let's see. I don't know if he's random. He might be random. Because if I go somewhere safe, he's gone. Okay, I did not go up in this next room. Oh, I haven't gone left yet in this. Something moved... What does that mean? I don't like that. I do not like that. Where? What? What does that mean? I don't understand. I don't like it. Um. Okay. I'm trying to keep an eye out for anything moving because I think maybe something does happen on screen. Oh, I didn't go up here yet. 
when when it says something moved in the corner of your eye. What was I? Okay. I would have no idea where I was if I wasn't following a wall. Oh god, now what? Oh! Run away! Does he have chicken feet for hands? Are there... <gasps> oh! I'm safe here, I think. Is there nothing to see here? Okay, yeah, I'm safe here, I guess. What if I walk in a room and then walk back? Oh, I gotta look at all these. Oh yeah, I gotta inspect it. Or read it, no. Wait, what did I say? Inspection reveals nothing. I said something else different. Uh, not search. Uh, read. Get points for this. Little one reads a poster that says, Aspirations, the ultimate hopeless dreams of unattainable, unattainable achievements. Okay. Heard something. Something moved in the corner. I don't know what that means. I don't like it. This looks normal. You're not close enough. Uh, can I look here? There's a yellow tram possibly suspended by a cable that seems to go on for miles. Okay, clearly this is going to kill me, but I've only got one bookmark token. And I can't examine or look at anything. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't walk over there. Maybe I can walk there. <sighs> Shoot. I don't want to use it now, but I should get something. I'm going to do it because I'm probably going to stop soon. Okay. Can I walk here? I'm walking there. That's weird. The control panels hold esoteric buttons and levers that mean nothing to a hump. hump. One button, however, is clearly marked launch. Well, let's press that bad boy. See what happens. One pushes the button marked launch, and here's a metallic whir wind up near the yellow tram. Uh, okay. Was bedeutet das Worte zu schreiben? Ein Wort zu schreiben oh, ist die Schöpfung der Realität. Das geschriebene Wort ist die Befestigung der chaotischen und fließenden Natur des Gedankens. Das geschriebene Wort kann Kriege starten, ein Lächeln auf den Lippen hervorbringen, Frieden des Sinnes ermöglichen, dich dazu hey. und dann dazu bringen, die Gefühle von anderen zu spüren. Oh, da ist es nicht passend, Ein Bild sagt mehr als tausend Worte. Aber tausend Worte können eine Ideologie erschaffen, welches zu tausend Bildern führen kann. Ein einzelnes Wort kann eine so tiefe Kluft in unsere Weltverständnis schneiden, dass es uns voneinander abstößt. So wie, als wir das Göttliche zum R und das Natürliche in Sie erschaffen. Wir sehen, was Alle Wörter sind Zauberwörter. 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 Oh, can I bring it back? Sind Maybe I can Alle bring it back. Alle Wörter sind Zauberwörter. 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 Okay. Alle Wörter sind Zauberwörter. 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 Okay. Alle Wörter sind Zauberwörter. Oh, okay. Push again. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, yeah. I don't think I can get there fast enough. I thought maybe I was going to have to do something else to do it. <laughs> it's a mailbox. It's a mailbox on the other side. Of course there is. <coughs> do I need to get a letter to mail first? Um, look at the mailbox. It is a mailbox. Inspect the mailbox. The mailbox appears to be in working order. 
Uh, open the mailbox? It doesn't open. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it should. Uh, pick up the mailbox. Yeah. Search the mailbox. Okay, um... Touch the mailbox. Oh, I must choose carefully where, carefully where to put his hands, and this is not one of those places. Rub the mailbox. It squeaks against Wilhelm's fingers, but he accomplishes nothing through the act. Talk to the mailbox. Wilhelm's vocabulary proves an act. An act. Oh, whatever. Whatever it's in. Let's kick the mailbox. I know you're not going to do it. This seems to be violent an option. Um, poke, pour, pull, pull. Does not move. Pick up, press, press. Okay, what do I have? I've got a kneading needle and a handle. Wait, is the handle for? Um, open the mailbox with the handle? No. Okay, I don't know. All right, can I? Wait, what happened? I don't. Oh, I, mean, I did inspect. Didn't I do that already? Oh, yeah. I got it. Okay. All right, can I get back out of here, or am I screwed? No. Um, okay, I thought I wasn't going to be able to get back. I'm like, uh, someone needs to uh, pull the button, push the button, doesn't it? A lot of weird noises here in this, in what appears to be hell. Okay, I do not think this is the way to go. Okay, let's see if I can remember where I'm going. This was a dead end. Yeah, this whole area, spot was, thing was a dead end, I think. Um, I went up there. That was a dead end, but it's a safe spot, I think. Right, I think I'm almost done with the right side. I still have the whole left side. Uh, is this the same? I don't know if things are changing on me. It might be. Oh, no, this is back to the beginning. Oh, congratulations on your progress. You got a bookmark token. Yay! Uh, <laughs> um, employees only... Anything. Walk to to pull stand. Ah, to talk. Welcome to Teufelstein's information. Teufelstein. How may I be of assistance to you? <laughs> what Hello, the hell's my going? name is Wil Wilhelm Schengen. Yeah, I know. Oh God, you do? Oh, I am sorry. I usually have an unglaublich good memory, but I cannot remember you. Have you met before? No. Oh, so. So what? So, how come you know my name? Because I operate <laughs> the information booth. Ah, I see. I suppose that makes sense. Oops. Well, I'm glad we had this riveting conversation. <laughs> okay. Can I just... What happens I talk to him again? Since you are operating the information oh. booth, I'm thinking you might be able to help me. I'm looking for the CEO's office. Do you happen to know where it is? Of course I do. Because you operate the info... The information booth, yes! I know where your CEO's office is. I know where the office of every CEO is. I know the location of every lawyer, every insurance agent, every televangelist, every two-faced state <sighs> senator, every spin doctor, every milkman. I know where everybody is. I know who they deal with. I know who they sleep with. I know every promise they break, every lie they tell, every wrong they commit. I operate the information booth. Okay, so... Pardon the ein minute. Are you the devil? I am sure I have no idea what you're talking about, but I'm sure you'll find all the answers you need in this brochure. Uh, thanks, but uh, tell me, are you the devil? What do you think? I think I might have joined the right organization if they can afford to hire their Hurleman to be part of my aptitude test. Are you suggesting someone bought me? Uh, 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 no, uh, but uh, you are here operating the information booth, so uh, I'm a little confused. Bing dong! I think I might be of assistance here. Oh, you most certainly hmm. cannot. Oh, I think I can. You're pushing it, Ewan. I know. Oh, hi, Ewan from HR. Hi, Wilhelm. I don't know if you know this, but Herr Teufelstein here is actually... The devil, I know. We've just been through that. Oh? Yeah, it was quite obvious what was the ranting and the name, oh. Teufelstein, I'm pissing on their nose, you know? I don't know what that means. <laughs> I came up with that name. Yeah, you're a real genius. 
<laughs> so anyway, Herr Teufelstein here has made a bet with me. Oh yeah? Yeah, he claims that if we ran Viridian Mantle's HQ through a, a purgatory gauntlet scrambler, then you wouldn't be able to find your way to the CEO's office. And I claim that you can. And so we made an agreement for the soul of Wilhelm Schengen. We call it the Wilhelm Schengen Agreement. No, you call it the Wilhelm Schengen Agreement. I call it a waste of my time. Can we get on with the test so I can claim my victory, please? Wait, are you telling me that Satan himself, the Hulleman, is in human the resources? Hellman? Well, um... I mean... Well, well, yes. Uh, I, I mean... Yeah, once I said it, I could <laughs> hear how silly it sounded. Yeah, come on. Seriously? That's like the most obviously evil thing ever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. You should be. <laughs> I am. Well, with that cleared up, I think I'll just pop off and bug someone else for a while. Ta-ta! Okay, am I, I done noticed you are chewing on the gum. The what? The gum. The, uh, chewing gum. You are <laughs> chewing it. That is correct. I'm chewing gum. What's it to you? What flavor is the gum? <sighs> Orange. Why are you chewing the gum when there is a garden not long from here that has real fruit in it? I'm not much of a grower. I'm more of a degrower. That was needlessly cryptic. I have many layers. <laughs> No, that's not what I meant. Uh, we have already established that you mm -hmm. are the Hurleman. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, you, you know, no need to be so patrolish. Ugh, fine. Was there anything else? Not at the moment, no. I'm gonna then keep bugging you. Then leave me to brood. Uh, what was the gum flavor you were chewing again? <sighs> Orange. Uh, danke. Oh. Uh, what was the gum... Uh, danke. I gotta give him an orange. Okay. I have a flyer. For sure. The brochure contains mostly uninteresting sales pitch like blurbs about how the Benjamin Chandler Memorial Labyrinth is a treasure and a fun place to visit for the whole family. On the back, Wilhelm's attention is directed to a series of coupons good for discounts at local businesses. One stands out to him a coupon for a bottle of free Miracle Grow. Wilhelm tears off the coupon and discards the rest of the brochure. Okay, so. Oh, wait, I gotta equip it first. Really good for one rebuttal bottle miracle girl from very swift delivery. Okay. So I need oops. Wait, how many things do I have now? I have one, okay. Uh I need to find an orange. And take uh where am I going? I need to find an orange, plant it, and get an orange to give them that, I think. Something? I don't know, that's what it seems like. I do not know if I'm going the right way anymore. Well no, no, I'm pretty sure I am. It seems like I should have got back already. Ah, there we go. Okay. Um, God, I hate to waste. I hate to waste the save now. But I kind of want to stop now. It's been like over a half hour. Um, I'm going to stop here and do the left side later. And I, I don't know. If people are interested in me finishing this, let me know. I'll play it. I don't know how long this game is. I don't know if it's hours. I don't know if it's an hour or what. It could be a long one, especially it'll be a long one to play, definitely, because I already, I already went over an hour on this from pausing multiple times, I think. Uh, I'm going to not use it. Oh, no, I'm going to have to use I'm going to have to use a save. That's fine. I'll just do it. Boop. Boop. Now, I want to see. Actually, I want to see. Okay. Oh, I gotta rerun it. I am curious to see if um it has the uh oh yeah you didn't see this oh yeah you did see this part. I'm curious to see if it has the uh uh save tokens or, or whatever they are or if it this oh it just loads the last one oh okay. You can't go back. Oh, oh, that's so evil. Oh, oh no, that's so bad. You can't go back to the other ones. So there's never a point to have, oh God, if you screw up, you have to go all the way back to the beginning. That's so evil. Well, I might come back to this, especially if people want to see it. I probably will come back to it, but it, I'll, I'll do it on my own when I get around to it, if no one really is that interested in seeing it, if it doesn't get a lot of views and likes and all that crap. But anyway, thank you for watching. This has been Rob Bobberty with, what the hell is this called? All Demons Go to Hell? All Demons Must Go to Hell? What was it? 
all 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 demons must go to hell that is it well thank you for watching as always like subscribe and shares are always appreciated and i hope you have a great day